What is up, you guys? I'm back with another video. This is Dre, and this is Cyber Taco. Um, but yes, we're back with another video, so please be sure to leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. Now, we got some news to discuss today. Um, it looks like David Zaslav would like Robin Patton's Batman to be in a DCU. And this is just a rumor, so take this with a grain of salt. But the rumor is David Zaslav is impatient with the process of getting this new Batman and Brave and the Bold. So he would like for Robin Pattinson's Batman to be folded into the DCU. Now, how I feel about this, this could go either two ways, really. One, it could be folded in the DCU and it can be successful. Or two, it could be folded in the DCU and the DCU is trash. Well, you know, I take that back. It could be also three options. The third option is that he folded in the DCU and then Matt Reeves' Batman Part 2 is not successful and it end up being the same level as Joker 2, which we'll talk about that soon in this video. But um, yeah, my stance on this is I feel like he should be he should have been incorporated into DCU. They should have started with his universe and because they saw how successful it is, they shouldn't even have uh, they shouldn't even gave Matt Reeves a chance. Um, in my personal opinion, they should have just said this is what's going to happen and. I mean, hey, if they throw money his way, I bet he would take it. And also, people like to forget that originally Matt Reeves did have plans to have some type of Justice League in his Batman movie in the set photos with the costumes. Now, with their partnership, Matt Reeves and James Gunn and Peter Safran, we like to forget Peter Safran. Um, but now with their joint project with Dynamic Duo, this could be a bridge between both worlds which that could work again i don't think that the batman is self-contained enough to not have a larger universe to be explored and if i'm being quite honest with you guys i hope that the the brave and the bold is canceled or at least the director is changed um no offense to eddie muschietti he did great with the it films but seeing his work in the superhero genre i don't think so it's no for me dog I think the merger is all dependent on what happens with Superman in 2025. It could go either way, you guys. It could go either good or bad. Either audience love this new Superman or they're going to hate it. Um, I'm seeing good things online about it. Again, this is just early stages, but uh, we have to see. Also, in relation to Joker 2 news, um, you guys know it's fell in the box office. Who's surprised? I'm not. Uh... I mean, the trailer looked good, but I just think the premise of another Joker is just stupid to me. Um, and it should have been made. They saw the success of the first one and decided to throw money at it. And it's currently failing in the box office. I haven't seen the film. I don't plan on seeing the film until it reaches HBO Max. Uh, well, Max now. Um, but yeah, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. Let's just hope that Matt Reeves has a solid script. And he doesn't fumble like these past directors uh, in their sequels. And I'm referring to DC Universe. Um, pretty much every movie that came out that was successful in their sequel just underperformed. Audiences didn't care. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that Matt Reeves' Batman should allow Robin Pattinson to be in the DC Universe? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys soon for more videos. Peace.